Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm back with my uh, son of the day, and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it's a good day to be, you know, Irish for everybody that's Irish and everybody that's not to be Irish. So, so happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. And um, I feel a little bad. I do have green Irish tweed, and that's what I've been wearing since I've had it every St. Patrick's Day. Uh, but I am doing Gallagher fragrances, so I uh, I picked out Overt, and uh, and this is going really really well. It has a green tinge to it. Um, mostly it's mostly it's citrus. There's like five citruses up top, and I probably won't remember what they are, but I'll try. It's like lemon, lime, green mandarin, bergamot, and I think orange. And all five of those are up top. And uh, then in the middle, it just has cardamom and something called a lemmy. And I looked up a lemmy, and that's a citrusy type of a flower, I think it is, or a resin. And so that's more citrus there. Um, you know, and then in the bottom, it has, uh, you know, ambergris and sea salt, which I'm still not getting. Uh, I get, I'm getting citrus. <laughs> and then I'm getting vetiver. It has Haitian vetiver, which I think is a stronger vetiver. And, um, you know, to me, this is a great fragrance. Uh, the other day I answered a question in one of the, one of the groups uh, what, what, what fragrance would you recommend, you know, for any man to have in his collection? And I was one of a few that answered, uh, Terra de Hermes. And I said, you know, that, that would be one I would recommend every man to have, uh, every man should have a citrus vetiver type fragrance. And that's the one that I think hits all the boxes. And there's a bunch of vetiver citrus fragrances. I have multiple ones. Uh, you know, I have red vetiver, uh, by my aunt Sarah. I have vetiver sensual. I have um, uh, Terra, Terra de Hermes, and I have other ones that I don't know they are that, but they are. Uh, they're citrus and vetiver. It's a nice combination, uh, and this would be one of them. The thing on this, though, um, you know, there's one Terra de, Terra de Hermes uh, vetiver intense, and I think this is a little bit the opposite of that. This would be uh, Terra de Hermes citrus intense. This, you know, this really, the citrus is really, really spring out of this but you could still get that vetiver. I like it. And interestingly, uh, uh, Mrs. Fritz this morning, when I sprayed it on, she gave it a seven and I believe it's still a seven or an eight to her. So if you know, if you've been following the first three Gallagher's I did, you know, she was a four and five on those and I was a nine. And today I'm gonna to surprise people, I'm not gonna give this a nine, only because, uh, you know, it is sort of what I thought it would smell like. And, but I'm going to give it an eight. You know, this is something I could have. It's just that I have other citrus vet vetivers. Um, and I was looking at some of the ones that this this reminds people of. And uh, one of the ones I know of, you know, that, I, that I've actually sampled, um, they say it's that Allure Sport Cologne. But I don't get that. I actually just sampled that uh, a few days ago in a department store. And nowhere is near this. I don't, I, I don't get it. This is, this is much more, uh, it's much more potent. Uh, you know, I've had it on for two hours now and I had a scent bubble around me uh, of citrus. I, I thought it was too citrusy. I was in a meeting actually. And I thought I'm wearing too much of this, too citrus. Uh, so that's what I think. There's another one I just picked up though that this does remind me of and that's a female scent actually. Uh, I thought it was a male. And that was Banana Republic Classic Citrus. And I haven't tried it on skin yet, but I did on paper. And I remember that being very citrus heavy, although that had lavender and, and some stuff to powder that down to soften it. I'm not sure if it had vetiver in it, but it did have citrus up top. This is a very citrus, citrus centric to me. So with that, I'm gonna get, get off. Let everybody enjoy the St. Patty Day. Uh, have fun, be safe, pray for the world, pray for peace. Us Irish people, we love peace, we want peace. You know, we'll fight, but we love peace. And uh, we and just be kind. You know, when you're out there and 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 with with people, just you know, just try to be kind because uh, everybody hurts. Everybody hurts uh, all the time. And so, if you could just be a little kindness in somebody's heart, that'd be really good. And with that, happy St. Patrick's Day, and I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, have a nice day.